I'm Terry Barker, and I used to teach at Humber College in Toronto in the uh, Ningbo China program in joint, as a joint venture with a Chinese university, and I was teaching Canadian studies. So I was familiarizing my students with Canada and its literature. I'm just sorry that this book didn't come out earlier because I'm retired now. This book is Starlight Tapestry. Poems by Don Gutteridge, translated by Anna Yin. And why am I recommending it? Well, because, of course, the original English is there very clearly, and so are the translations immediately following each of the poems. So readers can access both right away. Furthermore, it tells us a lot about translation because it's an excellent introduction and there are three parts to the book. And the book covers, first of all, the um, personal background of the poet in his very early life. In the second part, we have a life tapestry, as it's described, of various events in his life that were important, including his, his marriage and including the marriage of one of his sons. And we have much further information as well in part three of the book, which is called The Longing Shore. And this is about the philosophy behind the poet's work, which is made very clear in the third part of the book. Uh, Professor Gutteridge, the author of the book, uh, was very affected by the death of his wife uh, and the love poetry related to that comes out very clearly in the book, um, as does how he's able to cope with the problems of life. He has a hero in the book. Interestingly, it's Nelson Mandela that many of us know about, uh, a very well-known international figure, someone for whom uh, Professor Gutteridge says, a man of supreme reason, seasoned by hope, and harmony. And I think both uh, Professor Gutteridge and his translator appear to be very like Nelson Mandela in their attitudes. They're people of reason, seasoned by hope and harmony. So this is a book that I would highly recommend uh, for those interested in Canadian studies, which is what I used to teach with my uh, Chinese students, those who are interested in poetry, and those who are interested in translation. This is a very good book, which I would highly recommend.